Have you always lived here in Liberty County? Since retiring out the military, yes. Okay. Uh, and so, um, how did you end up here in Liberty County since obviously you've lived elsewhere? Was it military, the military retired, yes. Uh -huh. uh, which is pretty typical around here. Yeah. With having a large military installation, that's pretty common for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to tell you a little bit more about me. I was a civilian that worked for the Air Force, which was how I got oh, to wow. Liberty County because I wanted to work with military kids like uh -huh. I did prior to this job. So oh. um, while I never served, uh -huh. it's kind of my connection. To oh, me. okay. So, yeah, so um, I, I feel like a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people get here because of the military. Right. Pretty typical, and uh, I've lived here for seven years, um, hmm. and I live in a you know single structure home, three bedrooms, two baths, pretty mm -hmm. typical out in Midway. And uh, could you tell me a little bit more about your home and what's it like? Well, I retired in '96, and once I found the home, it just made it easier the location of the home. Mm -hmm. I finally got hired with Comcast. So that gave me a wide range of areas to be able to investigate and go into. I primarily worked in Midway. So mm -hmm. when you say you lived in Midway, that's... We got the connection there, That's, right? that's yep. where I was at. Um, originally born in Baltimore, going back up north was really wasn't something I wanted to do. Just down here in the south, people seem to be more friendlier. You know, so that was the main thing that made me decide to stay, to stay south. Yeah. Well, that's a good reason to stay south, yeah. right? I don't blame me at all. Um, and then with your home, do you have rooftop solar? No. Um, and so, because you don't have rooftop solar, can you share with me a little bit about why you don't? Did you make that decision or did somebody make it for you? Uh, it didn't have it when I moved right. in. So it never came across to my mind to even pursue it. Understandable. And um, that definitely makes sense there. Um, if you were available, like, uh, would it be something that you would be interested in obtaining rooftop solar if you had that option? I'm not really fully educated on the benefits of having solar. Right. I mean, I know they say it's supposed to be good, it's more efficient, this, that, and the other. But having not had any experience with it, to be able to give you an honest yay or nay, I can't really say that I would go that route. Understandable. So, you know, certainly that lack of knowledge about mm -hmm. it could, could deter you away. Yeah. Right. Uh, the next part of this interview um, involves the map of the United States, which is right here. So I'm going to pass that to you, mm -hmm. and then um, what you're going to do on that map is um, I'd like for you to draw on the map just a circle. Um, where do you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes within the United States? Hmm. And again, this is just your perception. I would say, I would say probably, uh-oh. There. All right. Um, and obviously, you did not choose our community based on where you <laughs> circle it on the map. And so, because of that, why do you think people in the area that you indicated, why do you think they um, have that rooftop solar? What makes that community different from our community? It's hot out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was stationed in Arizona. I got introduced to what was called swamp coolers which was a form of air conditioning and some type of wood mesh panel to where water would be run through it and then you had a fan that would blow through that, which would be your cooling of how your house was cooled. Really? Yeah, and they called them swamp coolers. They were huge, you know. So being out there in Arizona, I would think, yeah, you would run more electricity, so that would probably be a very good place to have solar energy as far as what I've already heard, that you're supposed to be able to save some solar energy and who has money to throw away? You know, so that's why I picked that. Absolutely. Picked that
And then um, the next part, we're going to actually just talk about the state of Georgia. So um, there is the map there with all of our 159 counties mm. and some of the major cities are identified. And um, same kind of question just about our state. So mm -hmm. um, in what community here in Georgia do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their homes? All right, and then similar to the question before, um, obviously you did not circle Liberty County and our community. So what made you choose to circle right there? Um, why do you think um, people from that particular area are different than the people in our community? I see Atlanta as like a major hub. Everything happens in Savannah. It's bigger, the hustle and bustle, you got more people, you got more stuff going on. And if anybody gonna wanna say, I would say people there. People there would be yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. So and uh, our last question for you, um just um thinking about, you know, your close friends. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what about most of your close friends here, you know, within Georgia? Do they have solar on their roof? Not to my knowledge, they don't. And why do you think they don't? One might be because lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's, that's the biggest thing. Because most homes are not built with the solar equipment on it. So to go solar... You're looking at a big cost, I would I, I would think, because you have to use the panels and whatever else come along with that for your house to be solar energy powered. So that's why I think a lot of people here don't have it, because if they ain't got it, then nine times out of ten, they ain't going to get it. Absolutely.